Plenty of fans were excited to see MGK perform last night at the Aftershock Festival, though there are still plenty of Slipknot fans who are clearly very unhappy with the singer's recent comments about the band. Although there were many excited fans to see MGK set, once again there were also loud boos, particularly at the back of the crowd, with some even taking things too far, throwing tree branches and beverages at him while he climbed on top of a tent during his set. MGK appeared to briefly respond to the controversy during his performance, claiming someone allegedly ripped up a child's sign during a previous festival gig. And we get on the plane and go do this, and, and then I was just sitting there thinking about the last festival we did when this, this 10 year old got her uh, poster ripped up just for liking me. 10 year old girl. So I'm doing this show for her and everyone who came to see us. Now, MGK has gone totally quiet when it comes to talking about Slipknot since his comments overwhelmingly backfired. Amid the controversy, MGK attempted to claim the band's singer. Corey Taylor was turned down for an appearance on his album. Taylor quickly verified MGK's claims were false by providing email correspondence proving he actually turned Kelly's request to appear on the album down. Here's a clip showing MGK climbing on top of the tent at Aftershock as some in the crowd are booing loudly and also throwing objects at him. This is not to say that MGK didn't have a lot of fans in the crowd excited to see him perform or that he's not a successful artist in his own right, but he was only on that tent for a few minutes and there were numerous bottles and boards and tree branches being thrown at him pretty much the entire time. Again, throwing objects at any artist, regardless of what they say or how you feel about them, is wrong. With that out of the way, most likely you probably won't hear anything from MGK about Slipknot if history is a good indicator. He doesn't have much to say about Eminem these days either. For their part, Slipknot reportedly has some very big plans in the next few weeks or couple of months that very likely could involve some new music. We'll have more on that soon. That's your latest update from Rockfeed. Be sure to click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on future stories. Check out the recommended videos on your screen and visit rockfeed.net for more.